Welcome to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. Thank you all for being extremely responsive on my previous guide videos. And I do listen uh, for your requests and what would you like to see in the next video. I got a lot of requests in regards to how to create a limitless air tank because I promised how I would explain it. But I've never have because I had some issues with the videos and the footage. Here, for example, as you could see, I am well swimming with the fishes one way or another. And as you could take a look at my air tank, it has 1655 durability. Please note the durability could be changed to anything you want and create a completely limitless air tank. Combined with my previous video on scuba diving gear and flippers, and with this air tank, you could travel underwater, well, indefinitely. And also, if you travel very close to the ground, sharks seem to, well, not attack you as much. And as you could see, I stepped on a poison sea urchin. Ouch. Now, for you able to achieve a limitless air tank, you would first need to do a little work. One of the things you would need to do is first find a regular air tank in one of the shipwrecks under the sea or in basically the chests that could sometimes appear on the island in other shipwrecks. So once you have located yourself an air tank, you have now ready to move on to step two. In step two, all you would need to have in your computer is Notepad++. I will also include the link to my description. It's a quite a popular program. It's not any form of spyware or Trojan. I have recommended this program before in many of my videos. Please feel free to check it out if you don't know what it is or what it does. All it is is just allows you to view the code. So once you have yourself an air tank and you downloaded Notepad++ or you have other forms of JSON file editing programs, which you are free to use, you are ready to move on. Now, what you need to do is navigate yourself to your Steam folder where you have installed Steam. Then go to Steam Apps, Common. Then please locate Stranded Deep. Then proceed to go to data. And here you will have saved.json. Please don't mind the rest of my files. If you've been keeping up with the little mods that I've been working on, you would know that there's a way to save multiple worlds. If you haven't, please check out my previous video, which explains on how to save. Now, what you need to do is you need to right click on that JSON file after of course you have installed Notepad++ or using some form of a program that can open that JSON files. You need to right click and open with Notepad++. When you will first open the file it would look like this. You can technically edit this even if it looks like this, but it's an enormous amount of pain in the ass. So what you need to do is the following. You need to go to Plugin, Plugin Manager, Show Manage Plugin. Within this list, once you scroll down to J, you will find something called JSON Viewer. I already have it installed. After you have selected JSON viewer out of this window, clicked install, your Notepad++ will restart and will ask you of course to verify your installation, blah blah blah, just agree with everything. Now, once you have a code looking like this and you have probably installed the plugin, what you need to do, you need to click on the plugin and you will now see JSON viewer right here. And after that, you would can do the JSON format. But first, what you need to do is click anywhere in this text, then right click and select all. Once you have selected all, you ca can now go back 
to JSON viewer and click Format JSON. Of course, as also as you could see, here you can also have shortcuts as Control Alt Shift M. It would have done the same thing. And as you could see, now this code is a lot easier and a lot more organized. So now let's jump to the juicy part. Now what you need to do is on your keyboard click Control F and it will pull up a search window. Within that search window what you need to now type is two words air space tank and space is not as a word but just put a gap between words for example. Then proceed to click find next. There is if you only have one air tank in your inventory it would automatically jump to that air tank. Even if you have multiples it will just jump in order from one to the other to the other depending on how many of them you have in the code. Now you can close the find window. Scroll down within the text and find durability. Durability points right over here. And as you can see here, I just put 5000. Here you would have your own amount of durability depending if you already used an air tank before you try to modify it. But, but if you want, you could just put up straight 5000 into here. After you have changed this and modified other items, please note that you can mo uh, modify the durability of any items in your inventory. As you can see, this is slot 6, that's what I have in slot 6. This is what my character has a torch in slot, not, uh, slot 5. And so on. Crude spear in slot 4, hammer in slot 3. That's for example's sake. After you have changed that durability to whatever you would like to, then you would need to just, all you need to do is just click save. Either by clicking on this disk or going to file and saving. But if you don't trust my example or afraid to ruin your game, I strongly urge you to right click on your sa uh, save.json file, create a copy of it and drag that copy into another folder so there is no conflict between saved games. After you've done that, just try out editing the file and if it doesn't work for whatever reason for you or you feel that I have corrupted your game one way or another and you would like to restore it to the old game, you could always bring back that old file from the previous folder that you archived it in. Now, after you have loaded into the beautiful world of Stranded Deep, it's time for you to check out what you have currently done. Now, when you take a look at it, you would notice that the durability is now 10,000, not the 5,000 that you initially wanted. For example, what happens is within the game, the durability of the item doubles. So if you would have put 1000, the durability of the air tank in the actual game would have been 2000 and so on. So if you would like to give yourself two charges or five charges, you would put in literally 2.5 or one to obtain two charges, depending on what kind of an air tank you want to do. So please keep that in mind that any kind of changes are doubled. That it will apply to every other tools. I currently only have done it to my air tank because that's the only one that I tend to use a lot while I explore under the sea. You know, no pun intended. Thank you all for watching one of my guides on Stranded Deep. I really appreciate you guys for watching me so far and the amazing feedback that you all have left me. Please feel free to post other requests and I will definitely see how I can accommodate all of you. If it's possible, I'll try to make a video on it. Please click like, please click subscribe and please tune in to my future episode on Stranded Deep and other games. And also, please don't forget to check me out on Twitch when I try to stream different games. 
I tend to only and mostly stream survival and tend to stream shooters. Thank you all again and please stay safe in a world of Stranded Deep.